who do you think is out of order? So on the financials, and I don't know how I'm uh, neglected to do this, all the way until last month, we were receiving monthly financial reports. This month, we did not receive a monthly financial report the way that we convent- traditionally would. When we talk about the deficit, last fiscal year through May, the deficit was $2.5 million in our operating account. This year, through the report we got, which was September 30th, I pulled that up as you were speaking, so from May through September, there was an additional $4.2 million of deficit. So you couple those two together, the deficit is growing and it's approaching $7 million. Yes, the deficit is almost $7 million now. And how is this happening? Well, you have the mayor who's using the taxpayer's money as her personal bank account signing checks and agreements and buying things without authorization like the one check she signed for over a half million dollars all of this is contributing to a deficit at almost seven million dollars and this this is absolutely out of order and i will share that financial report we have not received anything this month and my uh concern and and sometimes you kind of joke your way through some of the pain because it really is painful uh, but we speak how in different meetings, um, Trustee Belcher will bring a lease or an invoice. And then the retaliation on the next month is we don't get access to the yeah. accounting. And that's exactly what happened. They got blocked from the accounting software because Trustee Belcher found that Tahoe lease for almost $150,000. Please stay. But let me tell you, here it is, dated. December 27th, 2022, the cash price of a 2023 Chevy Tahoe, $93,216.71. Interest and APR, $55,929.49. Total lease price, $149,146.20. Tell me if it's not facts because your signature is all on it. All right. Mr. J, what's up? What's up, bro? <laughs> man, <laughs> man, she back at it, dude. She back wow. at it, bro. She I'm back at I it. I didn't get her out of here. So she, I'm not man. back at it. She, she continuously doing it yeah yeah you don't care i mean man. that little town got that much in debt seven uh, million dollars that's crazy that's crazy bro is that is, is that really that much money going to that little town it, it must be i don't know but but the Damn. average the average um income is twenty four thousand dollars a month so i you know i don't know I okay, how many know, people live there? Well, it was I mean, how many how many people live there? I have you know, no okay, idea. But I just say, wow, wow, wow. But That's small little money child. Like nobody, crazy, nobody, nobody ever heard of it. Illinois. Nobody ever heard of that was Illinois. That's small. Wow, yeah. That's crazy, bro. They got they got sent away for her. They really do. They got, they got away for her. Like I said last time. They got sent away for her. They really do, bro. You know what? I mean, the feds. <laughs> hey, is, this, this is letting bury itself. This is letting bury itself, bro. That's yeah, all the, the feds is probably sitting back and just waiting, yep. letting you, letting you, yep. you know, you know, uh, yes, hang yourself. You know, that's that's what they do. What they sit doing. back and they make you mm-hmm. think that you're getting away with it, and then all of a sudden yep. they swoop in. You know, but what she been doing to? these trustees and that town and everything how they treating the the people you got 91 percent black people in this town and you treating them like wow. crap shit yeah that's not cool they voted you in because they thought that you would be different from the last mayor and instead she probably worse yeah, instead, yeah. I gotta say, she works. Yeah. Work. <laughs> Man, all right, I'm gonna let this play. I'm gonna let this play. All right. 
price, $149,146.20. Tell me if it's not facts because your signature is all on it. And that's why she illegally kicked them out of the software, which is why they're here now at the special meeting, because she's refusing them access to all the information and also won't let them see the current budget that they're supposed to approve. Here, we talk month after month about our deficit and what it is, and now we're not receiving the financial information. And, and it, as if it's a punishment to the board of trustees, and I again keep encouraging, Put, the, put it on the website where it belongs. It's not a de it is a detriment in terms of our ability to do our job. And sometimes calling this information out, that's what we're left with if with the administration and they refuse to, to, to give regular information. Like this is not even hard. It's almost like asking your name. Why do you need to know my name? It, it's just it's way too hard. And that's what we're faced with sometimes. But um, Clark, he has a comment. And it's not just the trustees and mayor is withholding information from, she's also withholding information from the residents. Hundreds of FOIA requests have been made by citizens requesting public information that the mayor and her administration are required to disclose and they won't do it. Another right-hand man, Keith Freeman, is intercepting all the requests, again, hundreds of them, and the city girl mayor instructed employees not to process any of them. So on the administration side, she's got Keith Freeman running interference. And when taxpayers show up to the meetings to voice their concerns, she's got the corrupt police running interference. Um, this, this entire thing is just extremely frustrating, right? Um, I, I haven't, I heard you all say that you have put it on the website. I mean, well, I've heard you all say that you, you're considering putting it on the website or you want to put it in the newspaper, but I, here I am, I'm supposed to be on the finance department, but I didn't even receive a copy. And then it's like, okay, if you could put it in a newspaper, why not just share it with us? Um, so that when we get here, we won't have all of these questions and we won't, won't be so confused because we probably could even have some of the answers for the residents. That's trustee Norwood. She's on the finance committee and still not getting financial reports. Then when they show up to the meeting sometimes, the mayor will just throw some random papers up that no one was able to read, leaving everyone in the dark. But not only that, as a resident, you know, I've been here forever and I've been attending the meetings for years and I've never seen such hostility. I mean, it feels like we're prisoners in here right now. Um, That's crazy. Uh, Man, it's crazy what she's doing to those people though. Yeah, it is. Like, like locking, locking them out. I cannot believe she owed that much, bro. It, and I'm saying that much money goes to that town. Yeah, Damn. and but the, here's the thing, though. She's locking the trustees out so they can't yeah, see what yeah. she's spending. Yeah, I know. You know, which that's, she, that's she a, a crime by itself. You know, because because the they trustees should, are there they to they make sure get out. Yeah. the trustees they are get there. Out so, there. The trustees are there so you can make sure that you're not overspending and but and and yeah. you know you know stay on budget and everything. But, okay, so it's like okay, are these trustees seeing this four or five months later or every month? They're not seeing it every That's month. It. Now. They, you know, they just said that. You know they locked them out last month, so, uh, so oh, they, yeah, they, they yeah, can't see. Yeah. They can't see what's going on. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's ridiculous. Crazy. Yeah, it's that's crazy. ridiculous. All right, I'm gonna let it play a little more. Hit the like button, subscribe, and stay tuned for part two.